More than 60 million Americans, nearly 20% of the U.S. population, suffer from asthma and allergies. Nearly 5 million asthma sufferers and even more allergy sufferers are under age 18. making asthma the most common chronic childhood disease, affecting more than one child in 20. There are 5,000 asthma-related deaths each year, and the death rate for adults is on the rise. When I have an asthma attack, it feels like my chest and lungs just close and 20-pound dogs on my chest. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America is the most trusted source of free, unbiased information and the first place patients, parents, consumers, and media go when they need information about asthma and allergies. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America Greater Kansas City Chapter depends on the voluntary assistance of you, our community, and friends for the funding and operation of our educational programs, advocacy, and research. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation helps kids just like me every day. We hope that the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, Greater Kansas City Chapter's long-term commitment to our community will motivate you to join us in our essential effort to serve people and save lives. Help us as a volunteer. Assist us by participating in our programs. Collaborate with us by raising awareness and funds. And finally, join us by donating a tax-deductible contribution of whatever amount you can graciously give. Advocacy needs your support. I'm an asthma and allergy super kid. Here is one parent in the community who knows firsthand what our programs can do. This past summer was the second time our daughter was able to attend asthma day camp, thanks to an AFA scholarship. The thing that most impresses me about our daughter was when she attends day camp, she takes on a new responsibility or ownership of her asthma control. She's able to come home this year and name her medications, saying, this is what I take as my controller, and this is what I take as my rescue medicine. Our daughter was able to meet and interact with other children her age with asthma, one of which has become a good friend. While the children are participating in regular day camp activities like swimming and field trips, the AFA staff presents classes in all aspects of asthma care. There is a huge difference in my daughter's responsibility of taking care of herself after a day camp experience. She's really able to recognize that when a cough is a cold cough or she needs to pull out her peak flow meter and check her asthma readings. Well, I learned from the doctors that a peak flow meter is, is like a thermometer, only it doesn't it doesn't take your temperature. It takes, it tells you how your how your breathing is going in your lungs. If if you're in, there are three zones. There's a green zone, a yellow zone, and a red zone. The green zone means you're okay, but you should still take your medicine. The yellow zone means your your breathing is it's not bad, but it's a little not good. So you should just start taking your inhaler or whatever medicine you take. When you're in the red zone, you should hurry and get an adult help or take your medicine. Along with our Super Kids Asthma Day Camp, AFAKC provides numerous other programs that assist us in our mission. We provide breathing machine distribution, spacer and peak flow meter distribution, college scholarships, adult discussion groups, informational, non-biased resources for patients, physicians, and allied health professionals, professional education for nurses and RTs, annual family asthma and allergy education day, health fair participation, assistance to school districts, asthma in the workplace seminars, preschool daycare workers asthma education training, teen education programs in area schools, and direct assistance. Nearly 10 million Americans suffer specifically from allergic asthma. Reducing IgE may help prevent asthma symptoms and attacks before they start with a simple blood test. Here participants from our 13th annual Family Asthma and Allergy Education Day are participating in a free opportunity to receive their IgE testing. In the United States, asthma and allergies are the leading cause for school absenteeism and hospitalizations. 
In Kansas City alone, there are approximately 7,000 emergency room visits and over 1,600 hospitalizations per year. Our mission is to empower asthma and allergy sufferers through education, support, and direct aid to create better quality of life. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America is giving our community the power to control their own health. You do have an action. I can see him wheezing, or I can just sense that he has a problem, and when he breathes it, it's like I know the number. And I'm really close because we really did have to do it. The person that I gave the action plan to loved it. It was just boom, boom, boom. If he breathes this to this, then do this. Our success for over 25 years has been due to you. Please help us continue in our mission and make the next 25 years and beyond even more successful. How it affects me is not it. Um, I just have to take medicines for it. I don't have to take my inhaler very often or, or like take my breathing machine very often because, um, because I take special medicines that help um, keep all that under control. Your commitment to the community can make a significant impact on so many lives. I'm thankful for camp and how fun it's been and like about how we, I'm thankful that it's fun and that we get to learn a lot of stuff and it's been really great and it's, and this is only the second day of camp but Camp is really fun. Join us today in our effort to make life without limits. Your generous gifts to AFIKC will enable us, together, to make a difference. Peak Flow is like a... Cut. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs>